Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Roku Ultra 2020, so here we go. First thing you want to do is take your premium HDM HDMI cable as they tout it and plug it into the back of the unit. And then what you want to do is go ahead and plug the other side into your TV. So I'm going to plug it into HDMI 2 here and in, in, into this open slot in my TV. So go ahead and plug that in. And then what you want to do is put in your power unit into the wall or a surge protector. And then plug the cord into the back of the unit as well for power. So the, one of the reasons I bought this unit is because I like the ethernet. I, want, I like to be directly connected into the, into the internet. So I'll plug your ethernet cable in there and then plug the other side into your router. If you're gonna do wireless, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that'll be coming up. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Once you get the LAN cable or your ethernet cable plugged in, go ahead and turn your TV on and go to the HDMI 2 setting or whatever setting uh, you put for your particular TV. And then what you wanna do is pair the remote. So go ahead and put the batteries in and at the bottom of the remote, you'll see a green blinking light. So you see that I kind of messed it up. And what that's going to do is it's going to pair the remote to the TV. So if you can see in the back there, it says pairing remote. Sorry, this is going to pair the remote to the actual unit, to the Roku unit. So just let it do its thing. And then it, it should come up with this let's get started menu. Once that comes up, then go ahead and, you know, uh, pick the language that you speak. And then as you can see, it says wired connection. If you're gonna do wireless, it'll say wireless and then it'll ask you for your password. So I'm gonna show you how to do that another way. So you can go to the home and then go to settings. If you go to network and then set up a connection and then do wireless and then you can go find your wireless uh, connection and then put in your password and then you can do it that way as well. So this should come up if you're, if you're setting up as wireless to begin with. So find your network and then go ahead and put in your password and then you should be good to go. Once that happens, then it's gonna update the software. This takes about a minute and then it'll restart the Roku. So once it restarts the Roku and everything is rebooted up, it's gonna look for it's going to detect, detect a display. So basically if you have HDMI, uh, not HDMI, if you have 8, 4K or you have 1080p, it'll detect all that automatically. Then you can click cancel so you can keep it on auto detect. Or if you want to change it to a certain only 4K, you can do that as well. Then what you want to do is pair the remote to the TV. So it's going to play music. Once you hear it, you say yes. It's going to turn the music off. And then you say, yes, I'm not hearing the music. And that'll pair the remote so you can use the remote to power your TV and the volume. Once you do that, then go ahead and sign up for a Roku account. So go ahead and put in your email address. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna send you an activation code to the or activation link to your email. So that's this. It is timed, it's 15 minutes, so hurry up and do it right away. So what it's gonna ask you is your personal information, address, stuff like that. It's gonna ask you for payment method in case you wanna buy stuff straight from the Roku app. And then it's going to ask you to link your Roku device uh, so you can so it knows. Once the setup is complete, you can download the Roku app if you want to. And then what it's going to do is it's going to update your channels. So once it's done, done, done that, then you are all done. And it should go to your home screen. After you get this little demo, you can press the home button to exit the demo. And then you should be at your home screen. And now your Roku is set up. So now all you need to do is go to your favorite app sign into that app and you should be able to watch TV. And that is it. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.